anything that we would think is, is totally inhuman, abominable, then that's what you must do. It's expected of you to be as vile as possible. If you can't be vile, you're not going to get anything. You stop going to the meetings and you stop going to rituals, you start slowly losing everything that you had built up. Because if you want the, the movie roles coming in, then you've got to keep doing the rituals. If you don't do your time in the rituals, you suffer. If you want to be a celebrity in Hollywood, then your attendance at these parties is, is going to be mandatory. Eating feces, drinking urine, having sex with these old men. You give up everything. So for them, because of social media, because everyone has an iPhone, because people can take pictures and video, and because all of this stuff is starting to come to light, and it's harder for them to get away with these sick, horrific things that they do behind closed doors. They understand that to continue to do these things, they're going to just have to normalize it and make it seem acceptable to rape kids, acceptable to drink blood, acceptable to eat a baby. And you have to, you know, to get up in that higher echelon, you have to drink blood, you have to eat feces, okay? You have to do these vile and wicked things, you know, in order for you to get up in that higher echelon. If, you're, if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to, do, to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract. With if you spend all your time wanting fame and fortune and money and power and position, eventually you're going to run into this wall, this brick wall of the brotherhood, where you either join or give up all your dreams of being rich and famous. Because they control everything. They control the media. You won't get five minutes of media time as a celebrity if you're not one of them. And so these celebrities will go to these Hollywood underground parties, have sex with a million old men, pedophiles that are there, the agents and the handlers that, that control Hollywood, control the stars and become an abomination just for fame and fortune. And we call them the elite. Elite what? Poop eaters? I mean, you name it, it's there. And it's all the top Hollywood actors, models, singers, hip hoppers, you name it, it's there. And they could be dressed in a disguise. So she was exposed to that. My God, I can't believe it. I can't be a part of that. Oh, what do what you mean you can't be a part of it? If you want your check, you want this Hollywood life, you would be a part of it, and you're not going to share these secrets. She thinks about that. She cry a little bit. They always cry, right? I'm ashamed. So she said, okay. She goes in this Pandora box. The headliners, the guy who make Hollywood runs like it does, right, bring her to the upper penthouse tomorrow. So she thinking she getting ready to sign a contract. No, they want to pop her in her ass. And this is how they get down. And they let you read that letter and they tell you what you think. I ain't got no problem with this. Okay, sign right here. Now that's the beginning of the rituals of everything that's to come for you. All the doors going to open for you. All the doors are opening. He ain't ready for what they're going to hit him with. We want you to meet some friends, okay? And there'll be three, four dudes on another guy. And he may know the he may know that dude in the business. They say what you're about to see, nobody else knows. I don't have anything about, you know, I guess gay people or nothing. It's just I can respect the person who's gay who come out and say they's gay. Right. Then you got who's your gay? choice. But the other A guys, lot of the rappers are gay and they don't admit it. Yeah, ninety five percent of them is closet cases. Right. Come on. This is part of the ritual. You are not to speak about this. You seeing these dudes transsexual, transgender, and they're all like lapping this one cat. That's the first test to see if you're going to buck. Why I'm telling you that? Because that's the first thing they did to cat. They took cat to all these private parties. Cat couldn't believe what he was seeing. To be gay in Hollywood, you never expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party and then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that long. I'm excited in a be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the rooms and you around and look in the raw room. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them. 
nobody likes them. It's not uh, necessary for us to store up that hornet's nest unless we intend to get stung a million times. I didn't understand that. They had to sting me a million times. Right. I'm still not going to join, but I respect it a little more. Cat rebel. Usually before they want to take you to the next level, they say, let's see what he's going to think when we take him here. And you're going to say, they're going to, hey, come on up in here. No, nah, man, I ain't down for that. Well, do you think we're going to keep paying you $5 million a year? We run this bitch. We decide who's going to be a star, who's going to be president, and et cetera. That's, where we, that's who we are. So what it's going to be, man? So he wound up sucking the one dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Now they vaseline him up and pop him in his ass. That's the way that goes. And then what they do, they videotape this. Why, why, why would they want to videotape that? Y'all say to sell it later now. They keep your mouth closed because if you get out of line, they're going to say that you was a homosexual, you was a pedophile, you did things that never got caught, and they're going to put this crazy-ass video on you getting boned by men up your ass and taking sperm all in your face. I'm telling you how it goes. Nobody in Hollywood gets a pass. If you want to go in Hollywood, it's just not going to one guy get you. They're going to pass you around, all of them. Because it's from one, it, it escalates from one step to the other. It's one, two, I don't give a damn. It's never over. Every time you do something, it's not like, okay, it's done. You did it the first time. Now, what you want to do, the, the, the sky's the limit. No. Nah. Every time they take you to another level, they want to pop you again. <laughs> it's sad, man. Let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood? that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me. Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. Any uh, German fetish parties going on later? I don't go to fetish parties. <laughs> I went to one one time. I've seen them really bad. Was it like a donkey show or? No, actually, you know, I think they it's. They actually kill people there and stuff. They pay like up to like a hundred thousand people to see people get executed. I'm not. I'm not kidding. And the who's who of Hollywood is there, and uh, there were people. And, and I and I don't want to incriminate anybody because I think a lot of these big time Hollywood people, and I'm talking about every name you know. I, I think they might have gotten suckered into it like me. So I don't want to cast uh, negativity on them. Although some of them look like they were having a lot of fun. So I was invited to this party called the Sanguine Party, which is the color of blood. And uh, the cab driver said, no, no, look, I'm from San Diego. This, this, this address doesn't exist. And I, I went out, and we drove around, and we couldn't find it. It took an hour. No, no, this is the address. I have a ticket. This is the... And there was a homeless guy outside, and he goes, hey, you here for the party? What? you got to be kidding me. There's nothing around. I was, I was led down a, a corridor. There was another corridor. There was different chambers I went through. And what I walked into was like something out of a horror movie. Uh, there were nuns, uh, people dressed as nuns with their, um, the outfits were cut so that their private areas were revealed. There was, uh, one guy who was a, uh, a very feminine man who was kissing other men and he was dressed as the Pope. Uh, there were people biting each other, biting each other until they, uh, bled. There was, uh, sex acts going on. There was lots of drugs. Basically, to me, it was very satanic. Now, 